by the time you finish scrolling looking for something on YouTube, you could have stopped to buy my peaceful, sustainable, and frugal homestead. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> it's blowing in. Off-grid homestead bundle. So you can see their website pops up. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll find Frugal Off-Grid. Or you can just put in frugaloffgrid.com. And you scroll down and you can see Off-Grid Homestead Bundle. Homesteading, off-grid living, online income, organic gardening so much more 100 and pl 100 plus ebooks programs 50 bucks so if you hit learn more here that's my affiliate link so i'll get a little slice of the pie if you purchase using that link and here you are on their website you can watch a video these are all ebooks and topics programs that are in included there's a ton more and uh, here are some really awesome reviews so here's all of the things that are included it just goes on and on and on and on imagine you can just sit here and pick and choose the ones that really work for you and then print them out like the big fat book that i have or you can print them all and have probably a whole library and if everything shuts down and you have nowhere to turn like google you can just sit there and rely on the book you have it's just loaded with all the things you would ever need to know about homesteading and survival. Buy now. You'll just put in your name, email, card number, you pay the money, boom, they'll send it to you. And then what you want to do is send me your order number and I'll give you guys all of my ebooks and courses for free and enter you to win my off grid homestead bundle. Or my, uh, yeah, homestead bundle, the kit. So over here on my kits, this is the kit. It's $60. And what it is is all of the main staple products that I have. Red tea, blue tea, green tea, corn flour, black powder, tonic. I can't believe how fast time flies. I just looked at the date and realized that the bees are going to be here in like a week. I built a stand for the beehive so the bees can come in and out inside the geothermal here and I'm just going to drill a little hole on the back here and I'll put a stick across here so they can land and get, climb in that way and that way they have access to the outdoors. Some of these sprouts have been coming in for quite some time in the geothermal and a whole lot of them are coming up all over the place. I'm not sure if any of these seeds that I first started are going to sprout eventually or not. And I did a second round and none of them have sprouted either. It's probably just been a little too cold still. And I expect that some of them will pop up. Like most seeds do, they tend to eventually. Everything I planted in the aquaponics system has done just fine. And I did finally get the ammonia up. In fact, because I think it's because my original pump shut down i think that caused it to actually go a little overkill because it wasn't cycling so now all i got to do is pull out about 25 percent of that water and put in fresh water and i think that we'll be ready uh, for fish these five plum cuttings seem to be doing well so far so i think they're going to take root and i'll just dump the barrel once once they start to take root i'll dump the bucket out and separate them and then by then i should be able to plant them outside helga likes to eat things that i plant like that so i'll make sure to put little fences around them and just you know load it with some compost and do everything i can to make sure that they really take off well
morning, Maggie. I just took a little break to come in and get another battery. So this guy's charging. This one's fully charged. <clears throat> the chickens have been leaving me a little surprise the last couple days, so they're getting back in the habit. I don't imagine the snow will last long. I have some mint starts over here that were sent in by James. James also sent in sunflower seeds. Well, I can't really show them to you, but I guess they're jumbo sunflowers which do well out here so i'll wait i'm i'm just waiting a little bit longer these i think these next few days are going to be the last of the really cold days nights and then i i could probably put some of those mint in the aquaponics to see how they do and then the upper edge around the around the edges of the geothermal are sloped dirt you know and a I've thrown seeds up there and some native plants are growing up there and I want to all the swells and all the berms around the homestead I want to grow as much as I can in so I think I should start some mint up there and let it go wild and uh, if it does well outside I'll do it around swells and whatnot too because as as it goes it'll multiply and I should be able to pull it's pretty resilient you can just kind of rip some up and move it so hopefully we get a bunch of mint going I I've really wanted to since I got out here and something that kind of dawned on me the other day you know I'm a new gardener I've I've been out here almost three years now and I'm just working it all out but there's things that uh, if you plant early then you can get something established before the the real dry few months in the summer and you're just gonna have better odds that way than trying you know I had people send me fruit trees when it was already like May, June, July, and and I failed it, you know, getting them established. And I think a lot of it is being in the heat of the summer. And so I'm going to try to do as much as I can before summer and after summer to establish hopefully a lot of trees. Because that's something I really need to get going around here for shade and, and to develop a canopy and a food forest and an orchard. So... Just something that we're working on. Huh, Helga? Helgi's a good girl. Fifty-five percent charged already, and it's not very sunny. Believe it or not, I think I got sunburnt a little bit, but I've got most of that cistern put into place. I just put that piece of wood over the top to keep the dogs from falling in or whatnot. I need to build a door for it and then cinch up the, the entrance to the doorway. I'm going to be pulling the, the tarp from inside up around and then the other one down over. And that should keep anything from getting into it except for rainwater. If you want to find and buy a piece of land like mine, you can finance it for as little as 200 bucks a month. Just check out the link below. You can find out more information on my blog or on my website. Uh, check out that homestead bundle. It's it's only on sale till the 1st of April, and it really is a good deal. You can put together a really awesome library for yourself. Just in case the internet ever goes down or whatnot, you'll have it right there. Or even if power goes out and you just you want to work on some projects, there you go. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss future videos about my homestead. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.